Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a pastel gradient with some gorgeous feather decals. It's really pretty, I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. Now also I'm going to be showing you the difference between liquid palisade, which I've shown to you in previous videos, and liquid latex. Now I know that there are a lot of people, this uh, liquid latex that I've got showing you right now is called Graftian Makeup Liquid Latex. Now I did a little bit of research. I know that um, Ellen and Dish did a video uh, on uh, liquid latex using that instead of liquid palisade and it's, I decided to do a comparison. So I've painted four of my fingers with liquid palisade and I'm going to paint one of my fingers with just liquid latex which I bought on eBay. And as I said before, the company name is Graftobian Makeup Liquid Latex. Now this is a very, very bright, vibrant blue. The only difference in the ingredients between liquid latex and liquid palisade is the colouring. Uh, there's a bunch of colours in this blue one obviously and liquid palisades that uh, light purple colour so I imagine they don't need to use as many colourings. But So I wanted to show you because I, I know that liquid palisade is quite expensive and I was sent a bottle of it for review and I do like the product. It works very very well but I do know that not everybody can spend $22 on a bottle of liquid palisade so i wanted to give you an alternative i purchased this product myself it wasn't given to me the uh, liquid latex the blue one i got just, just got it on ebay i'll put some links down below for the liquid palisade and for this one as well and i will give you their website as well so you can do some of your research again it is a latex product so if you're allergic to latex don't use either of them because they're both latex based products but so here we go. Painted my nails, my sorry, my the skin around my nails exactly the same way as I did with the liquid palisade, as you can see. Now we're doing the gradient. The gradient that I'm doing is with all these gorgeous pastel colours from Shop 84. Uh, I will list all of the names of the polishes down below, and it's kind of like a mishmash. Uh, I suppose yeah mishmash kind of uh, gradient not a straight gradient now you can see it got a little bit of I don't know why it, um, a little bit of my sponge came off on my nails and I don't know why it has never happened before the sponges that I use are latex free sponges and oh again other uh, there'll be links down below for those as well where I got mine but anyway you've got to make sure that you take now you can see that the liquid latex just comes off exactly the same way as the liquid palisade there's, there's no difference in the way that this product works the only difference is that it's a different color and it's kind of cheaper like yeah it's a lot cheaper now as you can see the liquid latex uh the blue one works just as well as liquid palisade um but just a little bit of cleanup as opposed to a lot of cleanup uh if you don't use either of these products you can always tape up your nails as well or you can use elmer's glue too so lots of alternatives now after completing the gradient I decided I wanted it to be a little bit more muted so I just cut up, well actually ripped at the top of the sponge off and added a little bit of white just sort of smattering it over the nail, not a lot so I don't know why um, I ended up with weird bumpy bits from my sponge when I did the gradient but that's easily fixed, there's nothing that's not fixable, just a top coat will fix that. And this is the top coat I'm using. It is Iron Nails Northern Lights in silver. It's very sparkly and very pretty. And next we're going to add some pretty feather decals from Light in the Box. Again, details will be in the description box down below. And now these are really, really pretty. All you have to do is dunk them in a little bit of water and place them on your nails where you want them. Easy. Just remember that the water should be warm. All the instructions are on the back of these um, decals, it's, which makes life so much easier, obviously. Uh, it should stop you from making mistakes, but I actually put one on my nail back to front. Sorry, upside down, not upside down, was flipped around the other way. And that's why one of them has got a really muted color because I put it on back to front. It's very strange. Or upside down. Upside down would be the right way to put it. And this one is upside down. Very clever, aren't I? Now, I just wanted to say the mistakes that I make, I don't do it on purpose. They just seem to happen. They just seem to happen a lot. Anywho, that's what it's supposed to look like if you put it around the right way. It's very strange. I don't know why I did it that way. Anyway, I want to bring the design together. So what I've decided to do is paint a line uh, at the tip, oh, sorry, near the cuticle of my nail 
and just join those feathers together. I'm just using some black acrylic paint and my Pure Color 10 detail brush. Now, as you can see, it's kind of morphing into the, or the bottom of a dream catcher, I suppose you could call it. So what I decided to do is uh, paint a line coming from that line at the top and then using a dotting tool and adding some little dots to make them look like those little jewels. And yeah, easy. And once everything is dry, you can seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet as per usual. And that's it. I really hope you like this one. It's so pretty. Oh, and guess what? It glows under my black light because these pastel polishes from Shop 84 have this fabulous neon stuff in them that makes them glow under my black light. Yay! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.